Well, hello, sports fans. This is Pastor Michelle Allen from First Presbyterian Church, and I uh, just want to welcome you to our daily devotional and uh, prayer time together. It's good to be back together for another week. And this week, uh, we are going to be focusing on one of, uh, one of people's favorite pastimes here in this country, and that would be baseball. I know that uh, this year has been affected by COVID-19. The baseball season has been... Uh, shortened quite a bit and it's uh, a little awkward this year with teams playing but uh, the rules uh, of engagement have uh, changed due to the virus but uh, it's still being played and um, you know people who love baseball are still uh, watching and even though people can't sit live in the seats uh, they have the pictures of people in the seats uh, pictures of pets in the seats uh, just a very different year for baseball as well as other sports. But I thought I'd talk about baseball and the faith because there are a lot of things in the game of baseball that um, you can think about and reflect on the Christian life and faith. So I thought I'd hit on some of those this week because um, it's kind of neat to think about. <clears throat> you know, in baseball, uh, one of the things that makes this game unique is that you have uh, bases. There's first base, second base, third base, and then there's that wonderful home plate. Fourth base is home plate. The one place you want to get to is home. And the one thing about the Christian faith is that you want to get home. Uh, that is the key. And uh, your security to going home with the Lord, as we like to say, is through Jesus Christ. So it's uh, pretty amazing uh, to think about our home, our final destination, is to be with the Lord, of course. And something we do here on earth is we try and, and acclimate ourselves to that more and more. What does it mean to be united with Christ? What does it mean to, to live with Christ in us and living in Christ ourselves? That relationship that we have that is so intimate and so loving and so deep. Uh, and only goes deeper and deeper so that ultimately in eternity... Uh, we can have that relationship directly with God and see him face to face. Remember Paul said, now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we, will sh we shall see face to face. And that's what home is about. And there's a verse in scripture, many verses about it, but one of the famous verses is from 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verses 16 through 18, where it says this, For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with him, uh, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. So in First Thessalonians, we hear that uh, of the day of Jesus' return to claim the rest of his church that hasn't already gone on to be with the Lord, uh, he comes and those who are dead uh, that are buried will be raised up physically. That's why we believe in the uh, bodily resurrection. The bodies will be raised up. Those who have faith will be raised up uh, in Jesus. And the rest who are still alive on the earth will be meeting up with them in the air and will be brought up to Jesus together. And we will be with him forever, as it says. And the neat thing is the end of that passage where it says therefore knowing that encourage one another with these words what a vision to have before us as christians uh, to know that we will be united together in the air to meet up with christ and to be with him forever and that's home that's where the aim is that is home home is not here on this earth home is going to be there with jesus and if you might put it this way uh, we practice what home is going to be like uh, here on earth until we are actually there together with Jesus. So as important as home is in the game of baseball, uh, getting home, stealing home, uh, a home run, it's all about home, home, home. And that's really ultimately what the Christian life is about. It's about being home with the Lord in heaven, in his holy presence forever and ever. And that we are to encourage one another with those wonderful words. So let's pray about it together. Lord, we thank you that there is a home that awaits us, that you once said that you were going to prepare a place for us and that you would come back and take us there. And sure enough, uh, we read about what that's going to be like, imagining 
the wonderful event that will be when you come back to bring those who have died in you and those who are still alive together in the air uh, to be caught up in the wonder of you and in home with you forever. May we encourage one another with those words and remember them every day. And may we remember that as important home is to baseball and the game of baseball, it is so very important for all people to be able to believe in you and trust in what you did at the cross uh, so that we can all be home together with you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. All right, God bless you, and we'll talk to each other again tomorrow.